Well, what's up, everybody? I'm Jackson. And I'm Kenny. And we are JK Builders. Builders. Today, we're doing a review of Lego art. So, so far, we have done the Sith art and the Iron Man art. So, we are going to be discussing both of them. Um, we do also have the Mickey Mouse art, which we haven't put together yet, but we will. Um, but today, we're just going to do a review of these two sets and go from there. Jackson, why don't you break down the boxes for us, starting with the Iron Man art. Well, it's 18 plus, the item number is 31199, and it's 3,167 pieces. Cool, and now the Sith art. 18 plus, the item number is 31200, and it is 3,406 pieces. Cool, so both uh, give you the main picture for art on the front. You have a look at Iron Man's face here, and then down below, there are two other images that you can do. Um, you have Iron Man from a different angle, and then you have the Hulkbuster Iron Man, right? Mm -hmm. So on the back of the box, um, you see another picture of that on the wall that just kind of display what it looks like when you hang it on your wall, and then a closer up view of the three different renditions that you can do, and then it gives you the dimensions. So. It's 15.74 inches by 15.74 inches, or 40 centimeters by 40 centimeters. Um, and then on the Sith art box, uh, it gives you the main uh, Darth Vader image that you can that you can do, and then it has the other two, which are Darth Maul and Kylo Ren. On the back of the box again, this one it has uh, Darth Maul um, as the example, and then. Uh, again, Darth Maul, Darth Vader, and Kylo Ren. Um, right here, it mentions that soundtrack. It says it's only in English. Uh, so somehow you can hook it to music and listen to uh, music that coordinates with whatever it is you're building, I suppose. Mm. I, I would assume it's like Star Wars music for this one, um, maybe an Iron Man soundtrack for the Iron Man one, and then maybe a Disney soundtrack for the Disney one. I don't know. Does this one say it comes with it? This one doesn't say it comes with it. Oh yeah, right there, soundtrack. So yeah. So anyway, um, for us, we chose to do uh, both main pictures. So we did this Iron Man and we did Darth Vader. So let's check out the uh, instruction book. So these are the instruction books. They're both pretty similar. Um, this one has Iron Man. This one says Star Wars on the front. Um, as you flip through them, um, there is some uh, info in the front. Uh, this one, so this one talks about the designers of the kits. Um, um, it gives you kind of a, a timeline of Star Wars Lego. It gives you some, what it shows like the real pictures of what they base these off of right there. That's kind of cool. And um, in, in um, the Iron Man one, there are 107 pages. 107 pages. Uh, this gives you a history of Darth Maul in Lego. So you have the, the UCS Darth Maul bust right there, which is kind of cool. You have like the full figure um, Darth Maul um, set, and then you have the minifig of Darth Maul right there. Um, does the same thing for Darth Vader. It has the minifig, the bust, and the full scale build. The same thing with Kylo Ren, which they haven't made a Kylo Ren bust, but they have the a couple of minifigs, um, and then the full scale Kylo Ren. Um, and then it talks a little bit about the soundtrack, how you can listen to music while you build it. Um, it says start your exclusive unique soundtrack and immerse yourself in the world of Star Wars. Um, and then right here, you get to pick which one you want to do, and then you go to the coordinating page um, in order to follow the instructions and build it. And then it has all of the other ones that there are. Yep. Um, it also comes with a tool. It's almost like a little spatula. That's yeah, what this I, thing is. I've never seen... I've um, never if you needed to clear it off, like I, I did... Um, do <laughs> I did one of the squares twice on accident. I finished a square, and then the next day I just started building and I built the same square again. Uh -huh. um, so I had two of the same square. Yeah, I'm dumb. Um, but I could have used that spatula, I guess, to kind of just pry it up quickly rather than pulling them off one by one. You pulled them off one by one? I pulled them off one by one. So anyway, if you want to do... Um, Darth Vader, then you're gonna just flip to page 43. Oh, if you wanted one, to do Darth Maul at 17, if you want to do Kylo Ren at 69. One, one thing that's cool, I never saw this in my book, I saw it in his, 
but um, it shows you that you can make like a super duper long mosaic. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, so with Darth Vader, you turn to page 43, and then there's actually nine different sections that you'll do one at a time. So you just follow the diagram and do the, them. Uh, it's color coordinated, so each number represents a color. And you just do each color one by one, or you can do them by row. Um, I yeah. thought it was I thought it was easier to do them by color. Yeah. Initially, we did them row by row. No, well, the first one that we did on this one was row by row, but mm -hmm. um, um, then we just started to like go all over the place. Um, yeah. When I did this one, I did it by color. I found it was kind of easier to just go one color at a time, um, and then they all hook together to create the full mosaic. Artwork. Um, so yeah, we only built Darth Vader and the one rendition of Iron Man, as Jackson was saying a second ago. Where was that? Obviously, to get all the different pictures, you need to buy three, three sets of, of each. Um, if you buy three and combine them, you can also make one super image. So this one has. I don't know how you make that though. I don't know either. Maybe you have to go online because there wasn't instructions in here, was there? No, there wasn't. Yeah, so you must have to go online, I guess, to find the how to make that. But you can combine them all three to make one super Iron Man picture, which is pretty awesome. But these cost $119 a piece. So you bought two more. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't get two more. So in order to buy in order to do all three Iron Man images and the super image, I mean it would cost what, seven hundred dollars or so? You need like six of those. Almost eight hundred dollars with tax, so it gets a little bit pricey. Um, I mean, you could buy um, the. I I mean, I know some of you already have that, have this, but if you don't, then you could just buy the use of oh. Falcon. Here it is, right here. So there is the super image you can make of Darth Vader. I think those super images are really really cool. Yeah. So, um, as Jackson was saying, I do intend to do the other two um, Star uh, Sith Arts. So, I have Darth Vader, and I intend to do Darth Maul and Kylo Ren as well. I wish he bought two more for me so I could make the super image. I just I didn't see it, but I think it looks really good. Maybe someday. We'll see. Someday. Maybe if they go on sale, we'll buy them all up. But yeah. it just it adds up. gets a little bit pricey at $119 a piece. So... Um, anyway, those are the instruction books. Um, kind of a different set, nothing we've ever done before. Uh, I know that there's been sets like this in the past, but we have never done them. But um, let's check out the art. Okay, so here is the Iron Man mosaic. Jackson, what did you think about this? I mean, it didn't hurt my thumbs. Like, barely hurt my thumbs. People always complain that it hurts their thumbs. Yeah. It barely hurt my thumbs at all. Okay, so it didn't hurt his thumbs. <laughs> What else? Um, I mean, I think it's really, really detailed. Was like, it Was it fun to do? I mean, yeah. Like, just putting those on, it felt like you were making your own Iron Man creation. Originally, I wasn't really interested in doing these. Um, just because I thought it'd be repetitive. I thought they were going to be smaller than they actually were. Um, and, you know, ultimately it is just thousands of stud pieces that you're putting on. Yeah, and what's weird is that the Mickey Mouse one that we might be building and reviewing. Um, <clears throat> what's weird is that that has flat pieces instead of the one stud pieces. Yeah, it does. So as you can see on the back, um, they all tie together. So there's nine different pieces that you create and then you combine them all together. And then at the end, you actually build a frame around the outside and put a little Iron Man logo in the corner. Um, and then it comes with these little hook pieces like here and here that you can uh, put on screws to hang on your wall. So this one's gonna go in Jackson's room on his wall. Um, I think it'll look pretty good in there. It did hurt my fingers. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's because I built this one and then I built the Sith art like within just a couple of days. So, I mean, literally that's thousands of studs that I put on over and over it's, and over again. It's like over a thousand. But the way we ended up doing it was I, uh, I think the best way for us was we ended up getting just plastic like solo cups and I put each color in a cup and then I numbered the cups with a little sticky pad uh, like a sticky sticky note 
um, on the side of each cup to name what number it was so that when it came time to do that number, I didn't have to like match up the color. I just matched up the number and I already knew what it was. So I think that was the best way for us. Maybe there's better ways to do it, but, but it worked for us and uh, um, it went pretty smoothly. Uh, like I said, there was only one tile that I <laughs> had to redo completely because I made the same tile twice. It wasn't on this one. It wasn't on this one. So anyway, that is the Iron Man art. Uh, I think, I mean, I was pleasantly surprised with how good this looks. I mean, obviously, you, if you stand back from the little ways, it just looks amazing. Um, so yeah, I think that was going to look really, really good in Jackson's room. Darth Vader is the one that I did. Um, I do feel like Darth Vader, it just kind of looks a little bit more... I think it looks a little more abstract, is the word, than the Iron Man. Uh, not quite as much detail that you can see, uh, but it does still look really cool. I think the... I think the best way to look at them is with all three of them together, so that's why I do intend to do the other two, and then hang them all um, together, and then... Or, you can take them all apart. <laughs> that's not gonna happen. And make them bigger. No, but if we can find them on sale, like, we could get them for, like, under 100 bucks sometime. I could get three more, and I could build the big one with that Iron Man. That would be cool. Yeah. I feel like the, the Iron Man one, there's two that are very similar. So I don't really see a point in making both of those. It's like the same helmet from two different angles. I mean, I can see making like the Hulkbuster and the Iron Man, and I can see making the big super picture, um, but the two helmets are just very, very uh, similar. I don't see the point in making them both. I mean, would the um, Super Mosaic uh, look good with the Iron Man helmet? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah! yeah. yeah. So yeah, maybe you could put like the helmet on the wall, like on a little shelf with like the mosaics back behind it. That might look good. Um, there is rumors that they're gonna release a Darth Vader helmet here sometime in the spring or summer. Um, I hope they do. I know they released one in the past. Hopefully they update, they do an updated version. And since he has done all those, I gotta do that one. No. Yeah. I am. Um, but yeah, that'd look really cool with the, the Sith art as well. So anyway, yeah, it was uh, this eye section right here. So the middle section here was the one that I did twice. And I actually hooked it to here and I looked at it and I was like, that just doesn't look right. And then I looked at the instruction book. And I'm like, oh, I just did the same one again. So dumb me, but uh, same setup. You got the nine plates here that all connect together. You have the two little hooks where you can hang it on screws on your wall. And then you build the frame out around the outside. It has a little Star Wars emblem in the corner. Um, so yeah, just thousands and thousands of little studs that make art, and I think they look really, really cool. Um, I had a hard time deciding between doing Darth Vader and Darth Maul. I kind of wanted to do Darth Maul, um, but at the end of the day, I felt like Darth Vader was the way to go. Uh, but like I said, I do intend to do the other two. Just don't tell Maul. So as far as pros and cons go, I mean, the pros, I think they look awesome. Um, they're actually a lot more fun to build than I expected them to be. Like, just seeing seeing the picture slowly come together, I thought was really exciting. Um, cons? I mean, it did hurt my fingers a little bit. It did get a little bit repetitive. Uh, they're kind of expensive. $120, I think, is uh, kind of kind of pricey for what it is. I mean, I know they're over 3,000 pieces, but grab one of those bags. They come with a whole slew of extra pieces. I mean, I feel like there's literally like hundreds of pieces that go and use. Um, just because when you do the other pictures, they're gonna use more of one color than the other. Yeah, they come with a ton of extra pieces, so you don't use the full amount of pieces, not even close. Um, so, and then all of the pieces are studs, except for the frame and the back pieces. So it's thousands of, of studs, really, that you're paying for. Uh, Jackson, what's something you like about them? I mean, I love the way that they look. Yeah? This is going to look cool on your wall? Yeah. Um, and Anything you don't like about them? Um, I wish... Huh. I don't know. I like how they... Um, they're going to look on um, my wall, the office wall, <laughs> like our studio. Um, but yeah, that I really like it. All right, cool. So the uh, the Sith art and the Iron Man art as a whole, uh, if I give them a combined score, I'm probably in the low nines. I'd say like a 9.3. Uh, they turned out way cooler than I thought. Obviously not playable sets. You can't really do anything with them, but they do look very cool um, as a piece of artwork hanging on your wall. Jackson, what are you going to give them? 
I'm going to give him a 9.4. 9.4. So Jackson likes him as well. All right, there it is, the Lego art. We got Iron Man, we got Darth Vader. Do you have it? Do you want it? What do you think of it? Comment down below. As always, like and subscribe. And until next time, keep on building. <laughs>